Hi everyone, it's Monty. Welcome back to the channel. So today I am featuring a die set from Scrap David Designs. It is called the Easter Mini Album. This is from the newest um, release, March. It came out March 1st. So I'm going to um, share with you a couple things that I made with this die. So you get, um, this is your base piece so that you can, you know, make it a, a mini album. This is the stitched layering piece, fits on top of that. And then this is the, spells out the word Easter. So it's going to cut out each of these um, letters individually. Okay. <clears throat> So that's the three pieces that come with it. So I thought I'd share with you, the first project I made is this adorable mini album. So I went ahead and made it a mini album. And what I did was kind of like stagger the letters. So um, I cut out each, you know, one letter and then two letters and then three letters. So anyway, I think it turned out super cute. So I just have a white um, base, it's 110 pound. Like I've mentioned before, I always use 110 pound on my base for projects, um, especially 3D ones. So anyway, um, so my first layer here, my here's my E, and I just use a couple little pieces of ephemera. I won't be able to stick probably any kind of picture on that one. I didn't do anything on the back, but that will give me plenty of places for pictures and and all the things that I attached, like these bunny feet. I didn't. I only attached on the bottom, so pictures can slide down there behind that. Um, so these bunny feet came from the, um, it's part of the set that is the bunny doily memory decks. So that's where <clears throat> those cute little feet came from and it's layered up on foam. So it turned out so cute. Okay. And then next layer with a, th you know, I've got three letters here and all of my letters I cut out, well, over and over and over and over. So I don't have any foam on the back, but I stack these up with um, 110 pound card stacks. So like uh, there's probably, I don't know, there's a, a few layers of each one. It's just so it's not just one um, letter, you know, flat. This is a doily I had in my stash I already made. And I just pushed, put this cute little um, cabochon on top that I got from um, Timu. I thought those were so cute. Okay, then I made a cute little clip um, paper clip using my, uh, this is called bunny bows from Scrap Diva. So I used, the set comes with a small and a large, I still haven't used the large yet. Um, the one I have here is the small. So I used, made that on here with some paper and then I had, um, hot glued it to the top of the clip. And I always cover it up with like a circle or something, whatever I can to kind of you know, make it finished off in the, you know, in the back. So, and then I just um, attached a cute little heart down here at the bottom of the clip too, just to give it just a little bit more something. So a picture can still, you know, go behind here and underneath there. Okay. And then the next pick page is this, the four letters. And then I use this cute little strawberry die that I had in my stash. Larissa gifted me this. Thank you, Larissa. It's the first time I used it and I love it. It's gorgeous. Um, and then some chipboard here. And then here's the five letters. And then just a cute little cabochon that I also hauled from Timu. Right there, they're so cute. And then just a cute little bow. And again, I left space to put, you know, photos. Okay, and then the last page um, is the whole word. And then I used this bunny. It came from it's part of this set that you get um, with the, this is called Easter Bunny. It's this set right here. So it makes a um, good size Easter Bunny. Anyway, this word with a shadow comes with it. So I use that. And then some of the carrots that come with it also. It's part of the little ephemera pieces that come with it. Okay, and then just a cabochon up here. And, you know, clear stickers. Um, this right here is from a set from last year. It's this set right here. It is called Bunny Memdex. And I didn't use the Memdex part, obviously. I just used the um, layering piece. So I made a cute little um, clip I attached it to. And then I also used, let's see, did I keep this set out? I can't remember. Let me look real quick. 
might have put it back already. Dang it. I'll show you. Anyway, it's a set from last year also. Anyway, it comes with a cute little tag. Uh, the cute little, um, yeah, the tag shape. Um, die. And then it also has the, um, a bunch of different got the tag shape stamp and then different words just try to look again see if I dang it I want to show you guys that one I don't think you guys want to wait for me to sit and look through all my dice so okay so anyway that's what I did here and then I just um, you know just kind of attached it where they're kissing so I thought that kisses little bunny kisses and then I um, attached a cute little piece of Baker's twine and so then I have that just clipped on here for you know uh, more interest here and then it could still go on top of the of the picture and then that's the back so like I said I didn't do anything with the backs because I'm just going to add pictures and then I just and I, I forgot to add another one in here I only put the two binding rings in there um, just to help me you know keep it steady while I was putting it together and then I just um, ripped up some fabric that I got from Dollar Tree I just kind of ripped it in strips and I'm tied it on here, and then I also have some um, seam binding here. So I think it turned out so cute. So, so cute. So that's the first project. And then next I, I used it to make me a card, of course. You know, I always have to make a card. So um, there's my card, stands up. So again, you can see how many layers I have of these letters. They are they are layered up good. So there's like four or five stacked up that I just glued one on top of another. So I cut out each of them, you know, cut them out of different pattern papers. This one, this set I'm using here is from uh, Bunnies and Blooms. The set, the paper I used for this set is uh, Garden Party. So I think this turned out so cute. And then I made some flowers using the... Um, flower set from Scrap Diva also. It's called the Edge Flower. I, li I love this one. So I used, made some of those and attached them here and just put some little balls there. There's another one of the cabochons I got from Timu. A little bow there. Just to simply decorate it. Okay. And then inside I used the stamp that comes with let's see. Okay. So in this set, Easter Ribbon Slider you get the slider pieces. Um, I didn't use that, I just used the, um, it comes with a stamp set that has all these um, phrases. So I used he is ridden, risen, and I stamped it right here in the center, and then I just put a cute little flower there. Um, I'm just gonna send this to my mom. She loves purple, so that's kind of why I chose the purple, you know, as the majority, the major color. And so, I'm going to center that card, um, and then, what's I going to show you? Oh, um, for my little, I wanted something, you know, to go around and kind of layer, so I just kind of wanted an oblong uh, shape. So what I did was, I, sorry, I used this uh, piece from the, this is the 3D chocolate gift box. So I used this piece right here with this cute little... Um, you know, got a scallop looking thing and it fit perfectly there. Oops. So I just used that and I cut this out a couple times also so it would have a couple layers. So there's a couple layers of white behind that and it fits perfectly. So um, I don't know, I always look through my other die sets when I'm thinking, okay, I need this kind of shape or whatever. I look through other die sets to see what else, what, you know, what else, what I could use from another die set. So anyway, that's what I did on that. So I think it turned out super cute. My mom's going to love it. Um, and it, I made it so it's um, top folding. So she, you know, she always displays a lot of my cards that I send her. So I'm sure she'll put this up on a desk or something somewhere. So I think it turned out really beautiful. So this die set could be so handy for so many different things. Um, you could use this really easily on a scrapbook layout, um, for cards, 
for the mini album. There's, uh, you know, it's endless what you could use this for. So, and every time I cut out a set, I <laughs> save all my uh, you know, negative pieces and all my, there's a bunch of letters in there still. So if I go to stack them again with another project, I have them all saved right there. So anyway, that's my two projects I wanted to share with you guys today. If you have any questions, um, just uh, put it in the description uh, or in the comment section below and I'll be um, happy to get back to you. Thank you so much for watching and I will have all the links to everything and my affiliate code. Um, be sure if you decide to pick up something, use my discount code. It's Polka10. That'll save you 10% off of the entire website. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll be back with another. Bye.